Hey everybody, I'm Jordan with PDQ.com. I'm here today to talk to you about what's going on with the uh, CVE 2020-0796 or the SMB Ghost. Uh, so basically what happened is on Patch Tuesday, Microsoft patched 115 vulnerabilities, but they announced 116. Uh, the one they announced was pretty critical, uh, so it caused a, a pretty big stir. Uh, basically it involves SMB version 3. Uh, it makes it so if they have access or they can reach your SMB server, SMB version 3 server, they can send code against that and run malicious code. Uh, the clients required the clients to connect to a bad SMB version 3 server, uh, whether through either they took over your server or they get you used to click on a bad link. Uh, so the client's at risk, but not as bad. The server was the real risk. Uh, they came out with a couple of mitigation strategies, disabling compression on, uh, on, on your SMB version 3 server, which can cause a lot of issues. Uh, depending, like if you got a, if you're dealing mostly with PDFs, you won't even see a difference. If you deal with a lot of like uh, video files or highly compressible data, there's going to be a big difference on that one. Uh, <clears throat> the other thing they came out with was disable 445 on your perimeter firewalls, which should be done. Uh, they didn't have a solution, or Microsoft didn't have a solution for the clients. There was a lot out there for the clients about disabling 445 on your clients. I, I hope you didn't do that. If, you, if you've done that, then that means you're losing all your Windows networking. You can't run group policy. Uh, you'll be able to log in with your credentials for 30 days while they're cached, but they'll be gone. You won't be able to access file shares. Printing will be down. Uh, and if you did disable that, unfortunately, with all that down, you're going to have a hard time getting it turned back on. Uh, you can do PowerShell remoting, which does not use 445 to remove those rules to get it back online. Other than that, you're looking at uh, SneakerNet, where walking needs computer to, uh, to fix that rule change. Uh, on the bright side, uh, outside of just all this, uh, today Microsoft released the patch for this one to make it go away completely. Uh, we're getting it up on our product right now, so if you use PDQ, just go ahead and have the auto download kick off. You can, you can uh, close that gap, no problem. Uh, if you do deploy that and close that gap, and you have also turned off compression, you want to make sure to go turn that compression back on. Just make your network administrators happy. Other than that, it looks like this is something where it could have been big, but it got contained quickly. So as long as you're patching your systems, you should be good to go. Thank you. I'm Jordan, T3.com.